This is your evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts off with the weather. Well, we have a storm system that is exiting the state tonight. As it does, we'll continue to see a couple snow showers across the Northeast, but by tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny skies across the state. Temperatures start to go up, but they really rebound coming up into Thursday. We'll be into the 70s across most of New Mexico. Looks good through the weekend before another storm. The state Supreme Court won't let the mayor elect of Sunland Park take office while he is facing criminal charges. Today, the high court rejected a request by Daniel Salinas that would have allowed him to take the oath of office. He can't right now because he is facing extortion charges for allegedly trying to force a fellow candidate out of the mayor's race by leaking a video of him getting a lap dance. And he is not allowed to step foot in City Hall. If he doesn't take the office by Thursday, the seat will then be declared vacant. A Dallas couple is charged with starving the man's 11 year old son from New Mexico in a horrific child abuse case. Investigators say Aaron Ramsey locked his son Jonathan in a room a year ago as punishment. Ramsey confessed to limiting the boy's meals to bread, water, and sometimes milk, and at one point watching him eat his own feces. I know that the neighbor down the street had said that he saw, um, she saw his arms very, very skinny. Ramsey told police that he found the boy's body on the bedroom floor last August, so he then dumped it in a rural area south of Dallas. Searchers this past weekend, though, did not find the body. When family had asked about the child, the father told them that he'd been living with his mother in Berlin. For now, Ramsey and the boy's stepmother are charged with felony injury to a child. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.